Oh, hallo Maat, uiteindelijk, hier die week, Maat het net so lang gevoel, wat ek kan net nie langer meer wacht om iets met jullie te deel nie. Nou die afgelopen drie weke het Katijn Kaal en sy bemanningslede a jylle paar hindernisse deurgemaak en hulle het elke week a les geleer vir jylle. Nou, ek het drie groot idees tot dusver gekry van Kaptein Kaal en sy bemanningslede op die ruimte tuig. En dit is wat hier die rooi mappet Bernard met jylle wil deel vir ochend. Is jylle gereed? Nou, die drie groot idees, idee nummer 1, die Bijbel is, is jou navigatie stelsel vir die lewe. Die groot idee nummer 2, gebed is hoe jylle kontak met Jesus sal hou. Dan, groot idee nummer 3, die kerk is hoe jylle, hoe Jesus sy mense verbind bly aan hom en aan mekaar. Maar, professor, nou het al, het vir my gesê, dat al hierdie stelsels moet werk. So onthou, maats, om dit te gebruik. Ek is baie opgewonne om te hoor wat die volgende stelsel is, wat in plek moet wees vir jylle verhouding met Jesus. Dit sal dan my vierde groot idee wees, maats. Nou, wil ek net gauw nog ietsies met jylle deel. Ek net het a bykie inside information gekry oor wat in die ruimte skip aangaan by Kaptein Kaal en sy bemanningslede. Kaptein Kaal en sy bemanningslede sy ruimte sende net begin uiteindelik in plek val vandag. Maar nie voor een strijerij tussen hulle begin nie maats. Want elkeen wil dugge op sy eie manier doen. En die Bijbel leer vir julle dat dit die verkeerde gesintheid van een mense hart is. Maar voordat ons van Kaptein Kaal en sy bemanning op die ruimte skip gaan hoor ne, kom maats, kom ons aan bid Jesus en die het saam te sing.
Commander Gus! To children of Earth! Come in! Commander Gus! To children of Earth! Come in! Uh, do you read me? I can't hear you! Uh, okay, okay, you don't have to yell. <laughs> I can hear you all the way here in space. If this is your first space flight with us, I'm Commander Gus, and you're about to embark on the final frontier, or, or I mean the final lesson in our Kids Church Online series to eternity and beyond. Well, it looks like my co-Commander Carl and Space Ranger Micah have finally got all the systems up and going. The nav system, the comm system, even the edification system, they're all a go. But our epic space adventure is still at risk if we don't get one final system up and running at peak levels. What is it? Well, all I can tell you now is that the more you use it, the more it powers all the other systems. It's like the hyperdrive for your life. So fasten your space belts and get ready to take off to eternity and beyond! Space Ranger Micah, I think we're ready to finally get back on our journey. I agree. We've got all our systems in place. We've got the navigation system. Check, Rooney. So we know where we're going. We've got the communication system. Check. So we're keeping in touch with each other. And good for you. We've got the, the edification, edification system, system in place. Check, check, check. I think that's all of them. So it is time for us to go to eternity, eternity and beyond. And so, Ernie, go ahead and fire up those engines because it is time for us to take this USS Captain Carl on its epic journey to the far the reaches of what? space where no ship has ever been before. The uh, what? Of course it's, I named the ship, okay? I named it the USS Captain Carl. Why because I'm the captain, I got the orange suit, I'm in charge. You didn't do anything. I don't have to do anything, I'm the captain. I tell uh, everyone I'm else what I'm to do. I'm the one who installed the navigation oh, system. Oh, you have a better idea? Yeah, the USS Space Ranger Micah we can't name did the everything. You can't name the ship after number two. You name it after number one. Sure you can. Oh, yeah? Fine, let's settle this like grown men. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, cool. One, two, three, cool. One, two, three, cut! Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to go to double barrel here. Double barrel here. Here we go. One, two, three, shaw! Oh, man. One, two, three, cut! Oh. One, two, three, cut! Oh, yeah! Oh, it's, it's the US Captain Carl! Captain Carl. Like, no, it's not! Uh, 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 what? Yeah, or what, what's that, Ernie? Glorification system. Ooh. What in the world is a glorification system? That's the system where we give the glory to the G.O.D. The G.O.D. Oh, the Global Operations Director. How did I forget? Oh boy. How selfish of me to name the ship. We're going to have to come up with a better I hope name. I if this is on camera. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Uh, okay, let's, um, let, let, let's, let's just plot course. And yeah, let, let, let's, um, let's uh, just get back in course and... We'll try to come up with a better Full name. Full speed ahead, Ernie. Uh, half speed. Okay. Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain! Glorification system is down! I will try to get it up to full power! We must have glorification system going! It, it impacts every other system on the ship! Oh my goodness, boys and girls, we must make sure that we are giving proper glory to the Lord because if we don't, it will have disastrous impact on the rest of our life. If we want to shine for Jesus and shine in this world, we must make sure our glorification system is going. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh! God knows me. 
shining, I shining, we all shining. Oh, 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 you, you caught me worshiping with my iPod. Oh my goodness. Um, man, I, it's so awesome to praise the Lord. In fact, one of my favorite things at church when we're all meeting together is praising God together. Yes, singing is one of the coolest ways that we can worship God. But did you know that worship is not singing? Now, wait a minute. I just got done saying that singing's one of my favorite ways to worship. Yes, but worship is not singing. Singing is just a way that we worship. And there are many ways ways that we can worship God. So what is worship? Well, I like to say that worship is a show of worth. And what I mean by that is worship is anything we do that shows God that he's worth a lot to us. So when we sing, we are showing God that he's worth a lot to us. When we pray and we're taking time to talk to him, we're saying, God, you're worth so much to me. I want to spend time talking to you. When we read the Bible, we are investing time into getting to know God. And we're showing him by our time in the word that he's worth a lot to us. But there are so many other ways that we can worship. In fact, discovering ways to worship is part of the adventure of being a Christian. So I like to say there's three directions that we worship in. We worship upward, inward, and outward. When we worship upward, our focus is on God. So we're singing songs to Him, and we are praising Him, and we are thanking Him for all the things that He has done for us. When we worship inward, we're focused on ourselves and how we need to grow as a Christian. So when we read the Bible, we're wanting to become a better person. Even as we pray, which is a little upward and inward, we're asking God to change our heart and to make us more like He wants us to be. But one of the most important ways we worship is not just upward and inward, it's outward. Because our lives are supposed to tell the world about Jesus. So when we tell other people about Jesus, that is an act of worship. When we invite them to join us at church, either at the building or even online, we are doing an act of worship. Even when we serve people and help people, we are showing God that he's worth so much to us that we want to help those that he loves. I remember one time when I got in trouble as a kid, I was late to class and I got detention. And when I told my parents why I was late and they learned that a kid had dropped his books and papers all over the hallway and I had stopped to help him pick everything up, and it made me late to class. My dad said, I am so glad that you got detention for worship. I said, worship, dad? I wasn't singing in the hallway. I was helping a kid. But he taught me that that outward act of helping someone was worship because I was showing God that helping that person was more important than me just getting to class on time. So we can worship upward, inward, and especially outward. And one of the reasons I love studying the Word of God is it helps me worship. One of my favorite Old Testament passages that I have memorized, I love to use when I'm praying and worshiping, where it says, Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours, and you are exalted as head over all. There's a challenge for you. Find that Bible verse. You see, we can take what we read in Scripture and use it in our prayers to worship. God is so worthy of our worship. In fact, there's a New Testament verse I love that talks about how no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has even entered into our imaginations the things that God has prepared for those who love Him. He's so worthy of worship. And I'm pretty sure that 1C29 knows exactly where that verse is, don't you? I am so happy you brought up that reference. My circuits could just burst. As you know, my name is 1C29, which comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, where it says, What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things that God has prepared for those who love Him. That just warms my circuit board every time I read it. Well, 
Hollow Space Ranger Micah, I think we are finally ready to head off on our epic journey. I think so. Did we decide on a name? Um, I think we did. Um, I decided that since we learned about the G.O.D. through his words, uh -huh. that we should just name it the U.S.S. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Number Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First Second Seven, First Second Kings, First Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Ezra, Job, Psalms, Prophets, Ecclesiastes, Psalms, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Levitation, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Amos, Obadiah. The, the ship is only so big. We can't name it that. Well, we could put abbreviations. Well, I mean, it's, it's not a bad name. Well, but it's trying it's, to give it's glory to God. God. Well. well Maybe How about we, the USS? For God's sake, the world gave his only God's son. Whoever believes in him should not perish forever. Let's life. Well, well, see, still, still too long. I think we should probably just name it something that sums up what you're trying to say. What am I trying to say? Well, there's an old term. It's Latin, and I think we should name the ship the USS Semper Fidelis. Semper for what? Semper Fidelis. And it what? means always faithful. Always faithful. God is always faithful to us. We learn to always be faithful to him. I like it. And it'll fit on the side of the ship. I like that. So I tell you what. Let's make sure we've got all our systems. We've got the navigation system. We've got the navigation. We've got the communication system. We've got the communication system. We've got the edification system. We've got the edification system. And we definitely now have the glorification, glorification system. system. We shall become less... And he shall become more. I agree. I think that's a great compromise. Are we ready to launch? Ernie, you got all systems going? All right, Ernie. All right, here we go. It's time to launch. Let's go full speed. Full speed? Full speed. Let Are me ready? crank that Two. up to 42. Eternity, Eternity and caught me. All right. Yeah, I was worshiping with my kazoo. Hey, everyone worships in different ways. Some people worship with an instrument like a kazoo. Hey, that takes a lot of talent. Some people worship through singing, some through writing, others through art. The challenge is to figure out how you enjoy worshiping because God wired all of us differently. Did you know that the largest book in the Bible, the book of Psalms, was written almost entirely by King David? And a psalm is really a song. They're poems that he wrote about how amazing God is and how God had helped him through difficult times in his life. So here's my challenge for you. I want you to choose one of your favorite ways to worship and then make a video of it. It might be a poem you write. It might be some art. You might play an instrument. You decide how you want to worship and then share that with others. That way, whatever you do, you're worshiping upward. It's coming out of an inward reflection. And by sharing it, it's outward worship. Could you tell what song I was playing? I'll finish it for you. <laughs> That was Jesus Loves Me, in case you couldn't tell. You're a VIP to G-O-V. You were made in His image, it's easy to see. You're a VIP to G-O-V. You're His favorite creation, and you'll always be a VIP. God makes millions of faces he knows each one and your face is happy and cheerful he made you fun joyful delightful exciteful oh yes that's true so say god made me say god loves me god loves me he knows the real me yes indeed you're a Did you?
Eternity and beyond! 